Okay, this is a short video of my um, fire kits that I primarily carry when I'm out hunting. This one I carry on my kit, uh, on my belt. It's in a dedicated fire kit that's on a belt pouch that I have there. I made sure that it was secured on the belt via some paracord as well as the snap clasp just so I don't lose it. It's undone there, just to stop it from opening up. This kit's designed so that I can light fires at any time. And it's full of, it's a little bit over full probably. I go a little bit overboard with it, but you can't have enough as far as I'm concerned with fire kits. Um, bigger, go big or go home, basically. That's the entire kit emptied out. Okay. That there's a little brass container full of petroleum jelly and cotton balls all wrapped up. So that and the brass containers to keep it keep it dry obviously and I just put it in a plastic bag and sealed it up these here are tinder quicks I bought a, a whole heap of them at one stage a little while ago they are quite expensive now they they tend to be like about a dollar each if you if you're buying them I think I've got four in there but they're just the tinder quicks and I actually have a little if you undo it all there I also have a um a, a small magnifying glass lens in there that's um, a little micro one put in there with the tinder quicks little lucifer light my fires there's just two of them in there again these are really good um i buy them from bunnings they're quite cheap um you can get a bag of them for a, a couple of bucks and they'll you can actually start spark a ferro rod straight onto the outside of them once you take them out of the plastic bag. I go a bit overboard with the whole, plas whole plastic bag, everything in plastic baggies so that they don't get wet. But um, you can actually spark it straight onto the onto the outside and it will take a spark. I've, I've tested that. And I've got one wet fire tab. These are magnificent. They will actually literally put it on in water It'll float on top, and you can light it, and it will it will burn while it's floating in water. I really, really can't speak enough of them, but they do tend to be again very expensive. Um, you can pay a dollar each for them, which isn't much, but once you add it up, you know, you you add a couple of dollars each for each fire, you get it tend to get a little bit more expensive. This is wrapped up but I've got char cloth in there that I've made up and burned up and, and, and it's ready to go. I like char cloth. Um, it's probably my best tinder that I, I like for um, lighting most things. If I can, if I can produce char cloth, I will. And I, I go from there because um, it, um, it, it takes a spark really well. Magnifying glass, half a second or a second out in the sun and it, it will it will light up take a spark from the ferro rod really well no dramas um it, it's just and it's an excellent resource if you can make it and and get going that's a magnesium rod i buy them off ebay um it's 99.99 percent magnesium i can just scrape it, get back of your knife, scrape it off into a pile, and then put a spark into it, and away it goes. It's um, and it burns really hot. It's very good. And then I had a mate on the now defunct um, cold steel forum. He made this up for me, so it's um, I haven't actually sparked it because I I didn't want to wear it out, but um, I know how the ferro rods work so that's why I haven't sparked on it but he um yeah he put a little 
bit of stag ant antler on it. And um, yeah, it, just a really nice little gift from a bloke. I much appreciated it. That's my Super Striker. Um, these aren't my preferred ones. I'll show you the, my preferred ones later on in, in another kit. This one, I chose it mainly. It's the Carbide Strikers, mainly because they fit in there. But again, I've been finding these are very hard to find now on eBay. And when you do find them, you can pay a lot of money for them, like $10, $15 each for them. And like a few years ago, you could buy them for a dollar each. And um, yeah, and then I just added a bit of paracord so you can just strike it there. That's really good. They 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 are they 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 strike the the ferro rods really well. They've got nice sharp edges. This I thought was a gimmick, but um, I've gone and found out it's a pocket bellows. I extendable pocket bellows. I'd never bought them before, and um, because they were expensive, they are thirty or forty dollars for a piece of extendable tubing I thought it was a ridiculous price but I found them now the Chinese are making them for like two dollars so and you obviously you blow on the on the big end and it comes out the little end pressurized and it is really good because I've got a beard full face beard and I don't like getting my face up next to the fire if you're trying to blow it in into flame and these pocket bellows they really you can target it wherever you want on the fire just and then and blow on them and they work really well and for a couple of bucks go on the little tube they're really really good okay this is a little bit of a gimmick too these are the relightable, the, the trick candles. You light them and then you blow them out and they'll relight them themselves again. And I got this off Bushcraft Oz forum and I thought it was a brilliant idea because they, they really do. And I, tr I tried one off camera and you can light them and they'll blow them out and they relight again you know so i've got three little ones in there in, in a little bit of alfoil fold it up just to keep it all the same these are my matches i buy the chinese ones they're um like two dollars a packet and i just cover them in the um in the in the ranger band just to keep them from Thingy. Plus, you can use the Ranger Band because once you light that on, that that'll that'll stay lit for a long time. That was what that was for. I snapped it off, so I'll have to replace it, which I will. Buying the these stormproof matches again can be expensive if you buy the the like the UCO stormproof matches, the Titans, like a twenty dollars for eight matches. Fair enough, they'll burn underwater. You can't blow them out, basically, and they'll burn for a long time. But these Chinese matches, they just, basically, they're, they're not very fire uh, wind windproof, but they do burn for an extra extended time. That's why I like them. Um, the, instead of having to rush to get the fire going, I, 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 I tend to like these Chinese versions. They come with in the little little match safe with the striker on the outside and you cover them in a in a ranger band like that and basically the whole kit is pretty waterproof and you can use the ranger band then for as a fire extender if you need to lastly in the kit is a clipper lighter now I bought these off eBay, but they're uh, quite expensive. And these are basically the European or British version of our Bic, Australian Bic lighter. Um, the only thing is they are actually refillable, which is unlike the Bics, uh, disposable throwaway lighters. These are still a disposable lighter, but you can refill them if you want to. And I just put a Ziploc tie around there so 
this never goes off. All you have to do is get your pocket knife in, snap that off, and then light light the lighter. But this way, it saves it from um, deploying while it's in the kit and losing all your gas. And they're my preferred lighters. I did have a, f- a friend buy whole... He found a source of them in Australia, and he bought a whole heap of them and sent them up to me. So I had like 13 or 14 of them I got for $20. So I was very happy with that. And as I said, they're refillable, so I'll never need another clipper lighter. But I actually prefer the clippers over the Bix. The Bix are, are good, but they you can't refill them. That's my dedicated kit in there. That's, I, I wear that. If I, if I was going out bushcrafting, I'd probably put that on, I'd take the magazine pouches off because I'm not hunting. Take the magazine pouches off and just have my possible bag and that plus my knives. Probably carry one or two fixed blades on there. And that all that kit goes in there. Now, if I'm not carrying that, I have this is my other fire kit, my dedicated fire kit. I finally got onto these only a little, only recently. These are torch uh, jet lighters, but you can refill them and they're adjustable. And I've actually, you, you can click it on and that's burning. And I've put that in front of a fan and you, it doesn't blow it out. And it is magnificent. Like that's a hell of a lot better. It is bigger, granted, a lot bigger than a normal lighter as such. But the ability to just do that and it stays on, you can... And that will light fires really well for it. And it's got a little stand. You just put it, stand it up on things. It's for using it as a, as a, a welding torch or something, or, as far as I know. But that's, yeah, I, I, I saw these on you on YouTube and then I thought, oh, that's a, a brilliant idea. So I went and bought one. They're only like under $10 I bought that one for and refillable, as I said, and seems to work really well. And then I go to town with the Ranger Bands. I always put a heap of, heap of them on because, as I said, you can use them for um, – you light them on fire and they will burn – really well for an extended period of time and this this i would put that like that wrapped up kit and that in one of my cargo pockets if i wasn't carrying the belt and that will this will cover me for fire um, i'd go that would be my go-to straight away and then that's got my preferred these are the half inch ferro rods I just paracord weave um, a cobra weave onto them. And that's the handles, and keep the lanyards on it so that it, it all stays together. And I haven't been on. You can't pull it off. Like it, it's I tie it. I tie it on there tight as anything, and they <coughs> forms a really good handle for you to strike on it. And that there is just another magnesium rod. So I have the two. I've got my tinder and that. So I don't. Have, I just scrape that off into a pile, then spark it in with the ferro rod. And this is my preferred strikers, the Corona Easy Edge or well, Corona Tool Sharpener. And it's a carbide striker. The only thing you have to be careful with these are they really rip the fire out of. The ferro, once you get it going, I'll end up putting burning holes and everything. But they really rip the spark out of your ferro rods. And you, trying to use these on thinner rods is no good at all because they will, it'll just destroy them. But these are a lot better. The only problem is now I found, I bought this one for about, I think it was about $14 on eBay. I have found now they are like, Twenty dollars plus, or thirty dollars plus, fifteen dollars post. So they are getting quite expensive now to buy them. But if you can get onto the cheaper Corona, or then and there's another brand, the Easy Edge one as well. And it um 
they are excellent. They're the best strikers you'll ever find. Plus, in an emergency, you could use them to sharpen your knives with. Um, I wouldn't wouldn't say that that's that's the because they are marketed as a tool sharpener, but I wouldn't personally do that unless it was an emergency. But that's I I, I really like these strikers are the best ones I've ever found and I've tried a hell of a lot of them and that's just a, a pillbox full of petroleum jelly wrapped uh, cotton wool rubbed petroleum jelly and then I just tie it all up and then put those ranger bands around it and it's a nice neat little package and that's what I would carry in my pocket in one of my pockets if I wasn't carrying my dedicated kit and that's my modern fire kits that I normally carry when I'm out in the bush. Either that one or this one. Anyway, thanks for watching.